Yo, this arc is actually hype. 1v1s, duels, this fights in the main stadium. It's like a movie theater too, right? Their setup is great. Now, Soul's way of fighting, dude. It's like Akido, Jiu-Jitsu, Tai Chi, all of the different cool ways. He has some kind of dark past that not many people seems to be aware of. And also kind of where he got the, you know, the injury on his eye, the eye patch. I think that's confirmed. I can't really remember. He's so cool though. He has this entire thing of like calling people kids and acting like a boomer and kind of wise and old, but goddamn, he's so smooth. On the other side, you know, the, the better Ryuin. He's fucking sick too. He literally one shot the other Ryuin. Tossed his- No, he didn't toss. And then the rest of their team fucking just tossed the body onto the bottom of the stage. Bro's looking like Yamcha from Dragon Ball Z. Kind of shows you how fucked up their school is in the mentality regarding powers, everything. Who cares about the Nakama? And I think we're going to go into the other fights. I expect Hiragi, the heartburn guy, to fight. Let's begin today's reaction, though. The Orlon. Is Kanama was actually that hype? Kanama, honestly, I don't know. I thought he was a joke character. That's just super zesty. Just go like, ooh, stuff like that. I, was he really one of their top fighters? Uh, Yo, so actually has such like an old Asian boomer pose. If only he's just like limping a little, like hunched over a little bit more. Everything about him just like screams like old Asian boomer. The way that he just like treats other people like kids too. So it's pretty sick. <laughs> just freestyling? My master. Yeah. But Sakura. Yeah, yeah. He said those things to Sakura too. He's like inspiring him. This is a show about fucking fights. What are you expecting to talk about? No, a nuisance is a good thing. <laughs> Alright, what's the next fight though? <laughs> Umemiya seems pretty happy and confident that the new generation is good. And okay, another corpse. And this guy. <laughs> Talking so much shit. One shot. His fucking team just like threw him off the stage and now he got to get dragged. <laughs> oh wait, he's up. He's up. So potentially lovers? No. Rita. End? Rita. I mean, that's what you signed up for. That's the culture here. What did you expect? You treat everyone that lose like trash. August. Sit down, sit down. Don't you dare cock tease me. Fuck you, sit down. All right, we're going to get Mr. Heartburn Hiragi fight first. They're saving the Sakura fight, man. Maybe next episode. Maybe the second half of this episode. Now... I know that the fights don't really matter here because the only fight that matters is Umemiya versus Choji. But we are ahead by two points. And it kind of looks bad on their side if it's 3-0. So is Hiragi going to lose because we're already up ahead so much? Or are we just going to win everything and then Umemiya also wins and it's a fucking clean sweep? Because you're that important. That's a huge fight, man. Damn, senpai! Yeah, there it is, there it is. <laughs> so soon did I do it. I think they do. They have some kind of history. Sako-chan? <laughs> what, what a cute name. In the past. One of the bullfrings four kings. Listen, uh, maybe I'm being super disrespectful, but even if Hiragi is Bofurin's, like top four kings or whatever, I never really had that kind of uh, feeling towards him. I just thought that he was just like a, a mob, a senpai. And while he has that title... He's always just been panicking and heart and fucking, you know, stomach aches and heartburns and never really seen him in action. 
So, I would like for him to prove me wrong. If he loses, though. <laughs> Itadori Yuji also says, oh, I'll never lose again. Then he proceeded to lose. Hiragi, please. You can't say this and just lose. Hiragi, Hiragi, you gotta win this if you're gonna say this. Please. <laughs> you think he's gonna talk today? <laughs> Alright, no talking. Hiragi looking pretty cool. He's not panicking and, you know, anxious. No heartburn. I love this shit. When something happens and then the anime pan reactions like three separate characters. Pop, pop, pop! Oh, he's talking. Look down. Some kind of insecurity in the past? Sussy, you wanna pound Hiroki? He's not really going on the offensive as much? I don't know. That was sick. Yo, that was fucking cool. He fucking stopped. He fucking stopped it and then oh Okay, so Saku is one of their top five. Huh. Do we know? We don't know the far left and the far right guys. Huh, Ragi chan, who knows? So there's other windbreak oh, sorry, uh, there's other members from Shishitoren that we haven't really met them yet and they're hiding them. Why? I thought that this is kind of their arc. They're hiding two of their most important characters. Are we getting lectured <laughs> mid-fight? What's so good about you? He is talking a lot. So they used to be like childhood friends. And maybe he got bullied and Hiragi was like teaching him how to fight. What happened? And then he just left? And then what? Is this is the classic like Sako was like, damn, my big bro left me. I gotta go get strong. How could you abandon me? <laughs> Hiragi? You good, right? Hiragi, bro, you said you wouldn't lose. You said you would win. You can't say, nah, I win and have me this pose. Come on, bro. Get up. Bro? Bro? <laughs> Yo, stop talking shit, bro. Shark teeth. He does have really jagged, pointy teeth. I guess it, I don't know. I was thought about that. Like, it's kind of interesting design. He's actually calling him out for that. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing weak should be your gut because of the fucking stomach issues. True. Maybe he didn't take his medicine today. Yes, this is a Shindere way of caring for friends and then blush. The four Hamontem. Uh, is that supposed to be like one of the best groups? One of the four best groups? Bad stomach people? Oh! He up! What does Tamontem mean? Oh, that's a heavy punch. What does Tamontem mean? He doesn't seem worried though. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that a fucking iPod in his hand? What is going on here? I think this is supposed to be Hiragi looking as like this Bishamonten, but he's got a fucking iPod here with the fucking headphones coming down. It looks sick though, right? His overall design. I don't know why the iPod's there though. Everything else is sick. Sitting on, you know, standing on top of fucking skulls with a flame behind. Some kind of like circle thing. And, and then, bro, it's a fucking iPod. Like, it's the old iPods too. Maybe this is like an iPod touch. I don't know. Oh, yeah, take those pills. This is fucking performance enhancing drugs. Straight up. Someone, yo, yo, you, this is illegal. You can't be taking fucking performance enhancing drugs right now. Referee. Oh, backstory time. Oh no, Sako getting bullied. Hidagi, save him. 
生意気なんだよそんな僕何もしてないし<笑> Oh shit These kids are vicious Honestly the bullying here is pretty like lightweight compared to like the Manhwa, the webtoon fucking, you know, anime bullying, bro. The Korean webtoon bullying. The kids we have in like a fucking, f I don't know. They would probably have like some kind of like branding tool to like permanently like scar this guy's face or some shit. Hiragi. Oh, oh. Oi, oi. Yeah, isn't that amazing? It might be the only one that gets reminded of like what I don't know when I see characters like this on the side It reminds me of like certain types of anime where the background characters doesn't matter So the, all the male dudes kind of like look like this, right? All the focus is on the girls getting all the action. Well, like these are literally hentai NPCs These are NPC mob background characters in hentai this is what they all look like in the face. You don't see their fucking eyes. It's all shaded and dark. And Even Sakura acknowledges Kiragi. Okay. That's the gap moe. Right? That's the gap moe. Like, I was watching him and I'm like, is he really that strong? I don't think he's that guy. Prove me wrong. Even Umemiya is like, this guy, whatever faction he is, I forgot what it's called. God of War, right? <laughs> Always the fight is so fucking fluid. Yo, if you take a hit like that, you're dead. Oh, yo, you are kicking. I thought this is so that I'm not in two to sit in the this is cushy. Nah, it just looks cushy. Also, this is really good. This is a cool image, because like there's other characters here. This is obviously Wimia, but there's also really more important other characters here in the front lines that we don't see. More backstory time. He's always had shark teeth. Here, I'll teach you. So basically, this all started off so nice like this, and they became like really good friends. Maybe he even saw Hiragi as like a senpai, someone to look up to. And then one day he disappeared, they went to Bofurin due to some reason, and he felt betrayed. And now he's acting all sad and emo, but the Hiragi is like, I never meant to betray you. I never meant to leave you. And then they'll hug it out, cry. Oh. Oh. People followed you? What happened? Where did it all go wrong? This is middle school graduation, yeah? Bro, what kind of fucking great eight? No, no, high school is great ten. Middle school is great, like, whatever, seven to nine or something. I was gonna be like, ah, this is, this is, uh, there's been way worse offenders for, you know, fucking, quote unquote, high school fucking students in anime. It really does feel like BL, a true love story, yeah? Why didn't he? Why?だから俺はてっぺんにはならない。Why? Ah, because he wanted to follow Hiragi and make Hiragi the top guy, but Hiragi was cheating on Sako with Umemiya behind the scenes. Oh, this is a fucking NTR. He's actually cheating on him, bro. <laughs> this shit's so gay, I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, delinquent shows. Dude, look how scenic this is. Just over a fucking Bridge fucking Sakura pedals falling down. This is where Saku has to fucking run. And then as you know, Hiragi is running away. The fucking the, the sleeve pinch. You gotta fucking pinch him like this. Like, wait! You gotta pinch him. <laughs> In the middle of the bridge, dude. Come on, go for it. Uh Sako. Releasing his eh. <laughs> He just like manhandles Choji, even though Choji's number one. What about the weak though? What happens to them? They get thrown off the stage. So that one day he can meet Hiragi again? This is actually a cocky story! 
while you were busy hanging out with your friends, I was studying the art of delinquent fighting. Nice take out again. <laughs> Donkey kick! Oh, I didn't see that one coming! Yo! That was pretty sick. That was pretty sick. Go low, flip somehow, but then bro was like, nah. <laughs> What does that make you though? Cause he's mad that Hirage fell for Uemiya or fell underneath him. But it's like, Hira like you fell underneath Hiragi. What, what does that make you? If, if you are saying you're a piece of shit for supporting someone else and you know serving someone else, like you were serving someone else the entire time. Stop it. <laughs> this shit's so gay, dude. I love it. <laughs> what do you mean? You, you had regrets the entire time. It was me. Now he's realizing. No, it was never you. It was me. Okay. Why can't I follow you anymore, big bro? He knew all this time. He was the biggest fan the entire time, man. Oh! Oh, he just wanted to follow him. And Hiragi said, no, find your own path, man. This is actually pretty good. Memes aside, memes aside, I'm I'm making too many fucking yaoi jokes here and there, but like, come on, how could I not, bro? This is a fucking love story. Damn, he really fucked up his ex. This song is pretty good. Kiss! Oh. The leader of the pack, Riz. Oh, fuck, Hiragi, you looking kind of cute here, too. <laughs> oh, also, I just realized they both died there, her, huh? Is this, this is kind of a confession? It pretty much is a confession. If we're, if we're gonna continue with these fucking memes, this pretty much is a fucking confession in the fucking riverbank side while the sunset's happening, bro. I thought it was their natural hair. Hiragi <laughs> Toma. No, it's four kings, not four emperors. Yo, your school fucking sucks! Straight up! These dudes talk so much shit. Ooh, we are striving for the pinnacle of strength. Only strength prevails. Fucking, I'll fight you guys. Come over to our place. Three losses. Back to back to back, bro. And if next episode, it's gonna be Sakura versus this guy. You got on the left side. Thematically, would it make sense for them to win one to make the score not look as bad and for Sakura to be knocked down a peg for him to like strive for more? I don't think I've ever seen Sakura really go all out. Maybe it's going to be straight up just like a clean 5-0. Like Sakura wins and the Umemiya wins. Finally, he stands up. <laughs> Take his body. <laughs> Fucking toss it over the stage. <laughs> Yamcha pose on the ground unconscious. This is the best part of the fight. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hiragi will do it? Aww. Alright, you gotta take care of his ex-boyfriend. No, don't you dare! You're gonna strip my ex-boyfriend in front of me? That's what I'm saying. I can't wait for these fucking dudes to like realize that if they lose, what happens to them? This is a common thing, cliche in these like shonen animes where it's like, oh, might is everything. We prevail with power. And the main character beats them. It's like, what does that make you? I cannot wait for Sakura to fucking win. And then it's gonna be like, all right, what about your jacket, motherfucker? Someone take him off the fucking stage. Let's see how you feel. <laughs> You gonna lose? Sana. You find the main character. Yeah, 
お疲れしたギラギはセクマです。相手のことは聞けないよな。お疲れ。いや、his kicks were sick. They donkey kick at the end, man. 聞かないのか誰だとか。なんかあった。We already got like a fucking romantic flashback. The entire fucking the romance story from beginning to end. Don't worry. I guess they didn't see the flashback though, right? Umemi and them, I guess they don't see the flashback like us. <laughs> you want to talk about it? You need some therapy? Bro, you're the reason why Hiragi left. He, he cheated on you with, you know, Sako got fucking cooked by him. And that's the episode, man. Today's episode, it was Hiragi versus Sako. And look, I think that if you didn't see this episode and you only saw Hiragi for what the enemy shown us, you would think like me too. I don't think he's that big of a deal. He just seems to be always panicking, anxious, stomach hurts. But that's what they wanted us to think. And then boom, bombshell. One of the four kings of Bofin, and not only that, the group that he leads, known as the God of War. He is sick, standing on a corpse of fucking, it's like a mountain of skulls. He can fight. So I think that this implies that he is literally the strongest group out of the four factions in Bofurin. I'm not completely sure. They just, they did only say God of War. I don't know how smart it would be to introduce like him, Hiragi, as the strongest character immediately this early in the show when there's three other factions that we don't know about. So maybe title, it's God of War, but strength wise, Maybe the other faction leaders are even stronger. I could not, you know, stop memeing around about, you know, the fucking the Yaoi memes, the fucking gay baits. But like, come on, man. The whole fucking story was about a dude trying to chase over another dude because he saved him. I'm going to follow you forever. I'll support you forever. And then as Hiragi was graduating, he said to go to Umemiya. On top of a fucking bridge dude, the breakup happens. This is a rom-com. This is BL, man. Memes aside, it was kind of a heartfelt story. And at the end of the day, Sako knew, right? Sako knew that he was wrong. And then, you know, we have this whole moment, you know, he realizes that you were never in the wrong it was just me classic cliche but pretty good story nice fights overall now next episode's gonna be pretty fucking hype because the second in command's too fucking cocky sakura is also cocky but the second in command i hate the way their entire school kind of treats people that lose so when sakura inevitably wins i hope he does dude when we take off the jacket oh i'm gonna say like someone can anyone fucking take this guy off the stage? Oh, it's gonna be so fucking good. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed the reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists here for more content. And until next time, take care.